Hey everyone, Wes here. So I've got a video for you today on how to test Internet Explorer from your Mac. Uh, so if you've been working on a website and uh, you want to kind of try it out on different browsers, you're definitely going to need to try it on Internet Explorer because there's quite a few bugs that will pop up. Um, the problem is a lot of you guys are on Macs and you can't download and install Internet Explorer just as a normal program to try it out. So uh, the great folks at Microsoft actually know of this pain. They, they know that it's a pain to test Internet Explorer and all these different devices, especially if you have a Mac. Uh, so they've made a really fast and simple solution for you. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to kind of go through that today. Uh, so we're gonna be using two things today. The first one is called VirtualBox. Now, since we cannot install uh, Internet Explorer straight to a Mac, we need to actually run Windows inside of our Mac. And a free program that will do, it's, it's from Oracle, um, it's called VirtualBox. And you can kind of think of it as a computer inside of your computer. And we'll be able to install Windows or Linux or whatever you want to these virtual computer uh, and then kind of run Windows right inside our Mac. So you can see I've actually got a pretty good setup already here. Um, I've got some Windows 7, I have IE9 on Windows 7, I've got Fedora for some Linux testing. Uh, but the way it works is you have, pick the one you want, you click start, um, and it will go ahead and start up Windows, just as you normally would if you are running a Windows. You'll notice that this is just a, a window inside of my Mac environment. And after a couple seconds, it'll go ahead and uh, load up your Windows environment, and from there you can go ahead and boot up Internet Explorer, or you can even install Chrome on Windows, or, or whatever you would want to do. Again, this is totally free. I don't need to pay for uh, a Windows license. So I'm just gonna close that down. So that's VirtualBox. Uh, there's a couple other programs that do this. I'll talk about those in just a sec. Uh, and then the other half is we actually need the software, so Windows, uh, to be able to install to it. And the, if you were to head on over to Best Buy or wherever you buy Windows, you'd notice that it's a couple hundred dollars and you can't uh, pay that just to test your Internet uh, Explorer uh, websites. So um, if we head on over to modern.ie, uh, this is a website run by uh, kind of the developer guys behind uh, Internet Explorer and uh, they allow you to have access to all the versions of Windows with all of the versions of Internet Explorer. Uh, so if you hit the front page, there's a lot going on here. What we really want is virtual machines. Some of the stuff around screenshots, but it's impossible to debug a website with just screenshots. So we're gonna go to virtual machines. Uh, and now we select, oh, what are we on? If you're on Windows trying to test other Windows, you click Windows, but chances are you're on Mac. So click Mac and we want VirtualBox for Mac. We don't, there's also VMware and Parallels, which are fantastic programs. Uh, however, they are paid. And if you're just testing Internet Explorer, you don't need the full power of these two. VirtualBox is fantastic and nice and fast for uh, what we're doing. So go ahead and click on VirtualBox for Mac. Um, and it's gonna kind of pop down all of these different uh, versions of Windows and different versions of Internet Explorer. So you kind of have like permutations here. So you see we've got Windows 8.1 with IE 11. We've got Windows 8 with IE 10. We've got Windows 7 with IE 11, 10, 9, 8, Vista, XP. So you can go all the way back to, oh, maybe not that one, uh, it's shot up. So all the different versions here. What I generally recommend for everyone to do is grab the latest version of IE11 on Windows 7, uh, just because it's easiest to use. And IE11 will include uh, options to fall back to 10, 9, and 8. Uh, so you're able to kind of emulate all of these browsers just in one. If you need native IE8, 9, or 10, uh, you can go ahead and, and repeat this video over with them. But Windows 7 and IE11 should do just fine. Um, these images are huge. So I recommend you uh, kind of grab a cup of coffee and uh, do this at a time where you have lots of bandwidth. So don't do it at a Starbucks. 
uh, as well as lots of time for them to download. So to download, we need these four parts. So you can just go ahead and open in a new tab, right click, new tab, right click, new tab, right click, new tab. And you'll see that uh, my browser will just download them all. You can see it's about three and a half gigs here. Uh, another option is says grab them all with curl. Um, and that's actually a little bit nicer. So uh, Chrome doesn't, if your Chrome crashes or something like that, you don't have to start again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel these and show you how to do it the other way. Um, curl is a uh, something that's included on all of your computers and it's a way to download uh, things or grab things off the, the net. So it gives us this as long uh, curl string here. So we can go ahead and just copy that. Uh, and this needs to happen through the terminal. Now, if you've never used a terminal before, uh, you can open it up under the utilities and look for the terminal icon here. Um, I'm going to open mine up. Uh, we need to go to a directory where we want to download this. So I'm in my downloads directory. I'm just going to make another directory. Let's see if I can bump that up for you. So make dir uh, IE11. And then we get CD stands for change directory, IE11. Uh, now we're in it. Yours might look a little bit different, but that's okay. Uh, and then we just go ahead and paste uh, that little section. Oh, I don't think I grabbed it. Copy, paste it in there, hit enter, and it's going to go ahead and uh, download that for us. So that might take half an hour, an hour, depending on how fast your internet connection really is. So while we wait for that to download, we can head on over uh, to VirtualBox um, and give that a download. So go ahead um, and go to virtualbox.org. Um, and the homepage is a little bit confusing. It's not the nicest looking thing, but uh, software works great. Uh, we wanna go to Downloads. Uh, and you can download VirtualBox for any platform. So uh, probably you're on OS X, which is a Mac. So go ahead and download that. Uh, and when you're done, just follow through all of the steps to install it, just like you would a normal program. Uh, and you should be able to open it up. It looks a little something like this. However, you probably don't have anything in the sidebar here because you haven't installed any machines. So I'm going to let those download. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back uh, once we are ready to install Windows. So it has finished downloading. It took about half an hour, 45 minutes on my connection, which was pretty fast. So it's definitely something you'll want to do when you have some time. So if I go ahead and open up what we just downloaded, you'll note that we should see these four files, a .sfx and three rare files. Uh, these are kind of like zip files. However, instead of zipping them into multiple files, we uh, kind of create one large file with them. So if you need a program to do that, on Rare X on the Mac, as well as a number of other free alternatives, I'm sure you already know how to open up a rare file. So right click, open. I've already done that. And what it does is it spits out a OVA file, uh, which is actually an appliance file. You can kind of think of it as uh, sort of an installed machine already. So if we head on over to VirtualBox, we can uh, sort of import this now. So we would go to, you probably can't see us, go to File, Import Appliance, or just hit Command-I to import it. Then we click up Open Appliance. And I'm just going to go to my Downloads, and we called it IE11. And here's the OVA file. Click Open. Click Continue. It's going to ask us a whole bunch of stuff about the computer. Don't worry about changing any of it. The defaults are just fine. Click Import. And it's going to go ahead and uh, crack that file open and install the computer. That took about three or four minutes. And you can see that there is now IE 11, Windows 7 uh, installed right to the sidebar here. So go ahead and click Start. And this will open up the VirtualBox image. 
It'll take a second, depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, if you have an SSD drive, it usually is just a few seconds to start up Windows, a little bit slower on other ones. Uh, while that starts, I want to note that the background image of this box will give you a little bit more information on licensing and uh, if and when you need to renew this version of Internet Explorer, uh, how to do it. So make sure that you read through all this on how to rearm and reactivate it if you need to. So when that's loaded, you can go right ahead and click on Internet Explorer uh, and it will load up the modern.ie homepage. Now the really important thing that we want, because this is IE 11, it's actually pretty good. Let's say you wanted to test uh, Internet Explorer 8. I'm just gonna go ahead and search for border radius example. Right here. So here we go, here's some border radius. Um, now I know that border radius doesn't work in IE 8. So if I wanted to test my site in IE 8, you click the little cog icon click F12 developer tools. These are uh, the developer tools for Internet Explorer, very similar to those in Chrome and Firefox. Um, now to emulate older browsers, you wanna click the down arrow all the way down until you see this computer icon. You're on the emulation tab. And from the drop down here, you can emulate all the different versions of Internet Explorer. So if I want Internet Explorer 8, go ahead and click that, let it resize. And you notice that these are just boxes now. Uh, so I'd be able to go ahead and surf the web uh, just as if I was in Internet Explorer 8. You can notice that not everything uh, looks the greatest. Hopefully that is helpful to you. Uh, go ahead and download a couple of them. It's always great to have them on the ready. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.